Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce Theme Development with WooCommerce REST API. So far, as you can see, we've got all of the products that are being displayed. And in this video, we are going to add the add to cart functionality. Let's begin. So this is basically this function that, have, we, have, that we have defined at the bottom. And the job of this is basically to view the cart. We will probably change the implementation. We will probably show an icon in the header in the nav bar where we'll show how many items that are there in the card but this is just for demonstration purposes the moment it's added we want to see uh, what the status of, of the cart is at that point okay and then if we get any errors we catch that again we'll handle this better uh, at a later stage in the view card we get the configuration so remember because we created this function now it can be reused down at the bottom and then we are making a get request to cart endpoint let's change that so the same endpoint uh, adding the configuration and then we get the response of what the value of that card is at that point okay so i'm going to remove that so that's basically your add to cart and view cart and then we are going to we are going to now create these functions called get session and store session let's do that so i'm going to open up I'm going to create another file. I'll name it as session. I'm going to paste the code snippet here. So we have two functions. First one is store session. The second one is get sessions. The job of store session is to basically take the session value and set that in the local storage. So put that value in the local storage and the key name is XWC session. It's better to keep the name the same. And then the job of this is to basically get that session from the local storage that's what it's going to do so we've got this so far so this is done the, so the last one left is this function to create the config so we're going to create another file and we'll name it as api.js paste the code snippet so what are we doing here we created a function to get the card config whether it's add or view and then inside of the header if you remember from the previous video i showed you in the postman that you suppose we are supposed to pass the x headless cms to true uh, in the headers so that's what we're doing here and then we're going to get the session value from the get session function uh, the job of which is basically to get that information from the local storage this is the function that sets that this is the function that gets that and we get the stored session value and then we check if it's not empty then we're going to set our headers to this value okay and then we'll finally return the config so config is basically going to contain the headers if this was the first time it's not going to do anything we don't need to pass the session because wordpress is already going to create that for us with that api endpoint uh, but it's a, if it's a second time which means the session is already available we would have already stored that in the local storage so we're just going to use that and pass that in the header so it knows that uh, when we are doing get card or clear card it, so when we are making a request to any of these endpoints it knows that uh, it needs to deal with that particular session itself and it makes update that one okay so that's that and then now as you can see that we have the add to card button available and in the next video i'm going to give you the demo of this add to card functionality working in the front end and i'll go ahead and give you the recap of all that we have done so far all right so see you in the next video thank you very much bye bye